Welcome everyone. This is episode 3 of the Nex Auto Fighter, How to Bot series. I hope you're all enjoying the series so far. I'm planning to drop episodes more often, every 3 days or so maybe less. So expect episodes to be shorter but more frequent, anyhow. For today's script, our goal is to build on what we have already developed. Specifically we will develop a script that automatically heals and restores prayer. The only missing piece we need is a script to find Sarah and restore potions. There is also other bits and pieces of code we will develop to aid us in fighting next. Enjoy! For finding potions, I'm planning to use color-based object detection. The reason for that is the unique color of the potions. As you can see I have made sure potions are in different amounts. To make sure it works in all cases, we will start by finding the inventory region on screen, because we will only run our script on that region. The function we're going to develop is called FindPot. We will use it to find the three types of pots we're going to deal with, Saradamon, Restore and Empty Potions. We're going to pick a color to use for detection, for each potion. We will try to go for a color that is in the middle not too dark or too light. Since find pots function will be used to detect all types of potions, we will use a key to specify which potion we're trying to find when calling the function. This will be tied to the color of the potion we're going to use for thresholding and object detection. To simplify things, I'm going to use a CVBot function called color find. All we have to give this function is an image and the color we're looking for and to prevent it from returning multiple objects as one or part of an object, we will specify the maximum area and minimum width and height of the object we're looking for. The third argument, which is 20 here, is the amount of color variation we wish to include, meaning if the color we supplied has red channel value of 50, variation 20 will include red values from 30 to 70, the same is applied to other channels. This relative argument means the function will return the location relative to the region we just gave it. Meaning instead of giving us the location inside the inventory image, it will return locations on screen. To see the locations we got from color find, we're going to take an image of the game window and then draw the locations we just found on that image. Let's run. Hum, this should be variation not variations. Let's try again. Oh, I'm giving an image for the parameter relative instead of a screen region. Fingers crossed. Oops, forgot to minimize this window. Not bad, it detected all the Ceridamon potions. But if you look closely, there are small parts like the lead that are detected as an individual object, this will be a problem, because we want the number of objects we detect to reflect the number of potions left. As I said earlier, we can use color find filters, we can use minimum width here, because we can see that even when the potion has one dose left, the width of the color is still the same. Let's try again. Hum, now it's detecting fewer potions, we want 12 not 5. Let's try increasing the color variation. Okay, better, let's try 40. Lovely. Let's actually make it 50 in case we run into the same problem with other colors. Now, we are going to run the same function again, but this time we will detect all three potions.
Um, it's not detecting all restore potions, and also five false positive empty potions. I will adjust minimum width, height and color variation for each potion, until we have accurate detection. Nice. So 50 color variation for Sarah and empty pots, 60 color variation for restore pots, and 15 minimum width for all potions. With minimum height of 22 for empty pots only, this is because empty pots have constant size, it should work without errors because we've potions in different doses and different locations in the inventory. Up next, we want to develop a quick somewhat simple function. This one will detect if the prayers we want are on or off. For next fighting we will use protect from magic and eagle eye prayers. If you're familiar with the prayer system in RuneScape, you know when a prayer is on, a yellow circle appears around it. We will simply check the pixel's color around the prayers we are targeting. We want to find the pixel screen coordinates and the color values when it's on versus when it's off. Let's test. It's returning true instead of false because prayers are off now. Okay, looks like I messed up the logic here. It should be equal to prayer on color. Second time is the charm. Looks like it's functioning well. We will put all the code responsible of interacting with the game in one file. We will call it bot.py. Now for the fun part, we want to integrate some of the functions we've working on into a working piece of script. First, we will do an auto heal script. Let's make it heal when HP is lower than 60. Hum, seems like I forgot to make a function specific for returning current HP. We already developed most of it. This will be a simple wrapper to make things easier for us. This is how it goes. We will have an infinite loop that calls healing handler function every quarter of a second. Then healing handler function will only call heal function when HP is lower than HP threshold. We also want to make sure we're in the correct tab, before looking for potions. And since switching tabs is easy we will just make healing handler switch to the inventory every time it's trying to heal. The switching is simply done by pressing the F keys, we can simulate key presses using keyboard module from CVBot. Heal function is responsible of finding potions and clicking on them. Clicking and mouse movement is simulated using mouse module from CVBot.
almost forgot, in the current setup, potions will be consumed randomly. We need to prioritize low-dose potions first, just so we can drop the empty pots and have more empty space for the loot. And since we already have the size of each detected color object, we can use that. We will sort the list of detected boxes by size. This will allow us to have smaller boxes first, and since it's color-based, smaller means fewer doses. And to make sure this is returning what we want, let's check the returned list. Empty list. Oh, we're on prayer tab. Okay, looks good enough. The boxes with the smallest area, in this case low height, are first in the list. Great, now let's run our auto heal script. Um, something is off with HP reading. Oops, I should return this. Okay, no errors now. Let's go somewhere we can test the auto heal capability. Oh, it's clicking on potions now. Works really well, prioritizes low-dose potions as well as not having any errors so far. Let's try doing the same for prayer this time. First, make prayer reading wrapper function, a prayer handler, followed by restore function to click on the restore pots. Let's test our auto-restore script. It's working nicely. Since we have a prayer state reader, we can also develop a prayer switcher to make sure that we're on the correct prayer. This is necessary because Nex can disable the protect from magic prayer. This will allow the bot to quickly turn it back on. We will simply make it click the prayer we want, if it's off. I'm going to run Auto Restore and Prayer Switcher together here, in one loop. Hum, it's clicking every time, even when the prayer is already on. Probably because we're reading prayer state before the tab is switched.
Let's also make any switch be followed by a switch back to inventory, treating inventory as default tab, because having the inventory on the ready is best to quickly heal and restore. Great. So now it's checking both prayer state if we need to turn any prayer on and current prayer value and restore if it drops below 50. Today was a good showcase for what the functions we have developed so far can achieve and do. I figured I had to show some working scripts, because the coding without seeing an actual functioning script is getting stale. In the next two to three episodes I want to finish all the core functions we need to make a semi-functional Nex Auto Fighter, except that we will be missing the final piece, which is detecting Nex itself. I don't want to spoil too much. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching, have a great rest of your day.